Peace, my dear brothers and sisters. Catholic Mass readings for today. September 18, 2020, Friday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time. First reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then empty too is our preaching, empty too your faith. Then we are also false witnesses to God, because we testified against God that He raised Christ, whom He did not raise, if in fact the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain, you are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hope in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Responsorial Psalm Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me. Hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee, from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Hide me in the shadow of your wings, but I in justice shall be on your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. Alleluia, according to St. Matthew. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve, and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chosa, Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of their resources. The Word of the Lord